Hey guys, it's Country Girl 555 Tina. It is August the 3rd, 2011, um, Wednesday, and I'm still down at the caravan. I'm fixing to, I got a shopping list for mom, so I'm gonna run and get the things on the shopping list. I've done all my morning to do's, everything to do washing of the hair and the cleaning of the body and the brushing of the teeth the breakfast and of course i didn't have breakfast today i had brunch i didn't even have it until 12 30. so um <clears throat> that to me is breakfast and lunch together and it's brunch and I got a few snacks in my bag because I plan on going to the beach and that afterwards. But first is the shopping run because mom doesn't want to go out of the house this morning. Caravan, she's got a, a bit of vertigo and this and that elements. So uh, to stay close by and not go far from her in case she calls, I uh, had to change my plans today and uh, do a few things left. Um, I feel good. I have not weighed at all on a weighing scale since um, I was weighed on my last weigh-in at Weight Watchers. So um, I have. I do not know, and I, I don't care. I feel good. My muscles, every muscle that I own hurts. My legs, my ankles, the tops of my feet, my hamstrings, uh, <laughs> the backs of my knees, my knees, my butt cheeks, um, my gluteus maximus, <laughs> as they say. Um, my biceps, my forearms, my wrists even hurt, my rib cage hurts, um, everything that I can think of where a muscle is hurts. <laughs> the only thing that, that's not hurting on me is my smile, <laughs> my cheekbone, so we're going to see how it goes. Let's just see how today goes, guys. Okay? Um, I love you all. Take care. Look at that beautiful church. It is gorgeous at night with a full moon. And there's a pub right beside it. You don't see those things too often in, uh, in the Bible Belt, do you? People walk in the trails. This is a cattle farm here. <clears throat> have nice cows and things. Anyway, enough of that. Talk to you later. Okay, so the first part of my little trip here is to actually get mom bread. And that means I have to go to a bread shop. So I've come into Pile, a place called Pile. And I'm going to try to find a parking place, which there is none. Absolutely zero. Zero. So what we're going to do is park. We're back here at the furniture store and walk across to the bread shop. Furniture store Style Force. I bought some uh, things from there actually. They have beautiful things inside that shop. Amazing things. Bread shop is like in this back alley. <laughs> Greg's like the one we have in Pandy. This is like a little back alley. But uh, 
it's not. It's, it's all cool. It's a carpet shop and uh, garage doors for sale. Big electrical supply company. National Plastics and a big furniture store. And this is Greg's, as you can see. Okay. Let's have some get mom's bread for with oats. Can I have this slice medium and put in two separate bags, half and half? Thank you. All right, we got the bread. That's done. Now I'm going into the local co op, still in pile. Um, as you can see, the cooperative food. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get her sugar and the other things that she needs and take it back to her and that will be done. People blowing behind me but this is why I'm stopped. You see that? And how rude people are behind me. You know, I don't, you know I don't tolerate stuff like that. So that ornery old man who was blowing his horn at me to go needs to recheck his life. Bugger. I don't like that. It makes me sad. That man was pushing that man in the wheelchair, and there was no call for that. Was there? All right, let's go in the. Handy, handicapped people can't help what goes on, and people shouldn't be that rude. I didn't like that one bit. In order to have a trolley over here, you have to put a pound in, and it releases it. This is how you get a trolley. We of course do call them trolleys, not shopping carts or buggies. They are indeed trolleys. So, shopping in the co-op. Mom wants ham.
refined sugar. <laughs> I almost forget where the myth was. Very rare to us shop into this co-op. I uh, always go to the other one. That's mine. That's mom's. Well, I got different white watcher products. How oh, nice. That's black pudding. Delicacy in Wales. Scotch eggs. Delicacy in Wales. And all the cheeses that you can imagine from all over the world. They have some amazing Welsh cheese. I think I'm getting close to sugar, 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 sugar. I can smell it. <laughs> okay, mom wants sugar. Oh, dearie. Um, she'll have one kilo bag, which is 2.2 pounds, and it's 82p. Fair trade. Cane sugar, granulated sugar, 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 sugar. That's right. She said if I've seen a treat for her to have it, I will have a look now at this little treat counter over here. As I know, she likes fresh cream donuts. Uh, so I'll see if they've got any. Um, two fresh. Cream donuts with jam. That's what she has. That's my shop. That's what she wanted. A few things for Weight Watchers. Those were the beans I have. Ooh, they got spaghetti. Gross. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, I know. I can get her a tin of ham and pea soup. Ham and pea soup. She loves ham and pea soup. Where are you? I'm still looking for the ham and pea soup. What? This is ridiculous that they don't have it. But Baxter's usually makes so wonderful ham and pea soup. So she says, I don't need it. <gasps> there it is. Ham and pea soup. Yay, Mom. And I am done. I'm gonna go pay and get out of here. Can I pay for this here? How much? Seven eighty-five. All right. There's a five, six, seven, fifty. Up. Oh. 
want, we're going to go with eight. <laughs> eight pounds, sir. Thank you. I do, but it's in it's in my purse. I don't have it with me. I forgot to bring it in, see. <laughs> Thank you. Ta da. All done. So now we have to put the buggy back. In order to do that, put that in there and it pops right out. You take your pen back, and that is how we shot at the co op. I don't think I've ever showed you how the trolleys work around. But that's indeed how we do that. So take this back to mom, see how she is, to see if I can go any further. Okay guys, catch you in a bit. Mom shopping. I know some of you think that it is freakishly cool over here. But it is really hot. I am sweating. It is incredibly hot. I would say 78 to 80 degrees with a mild cool wind. The humidity is not. And uh, let's go see how mom is. One of the car's alarms were going off. And uh, bye, co op. nice little town. Um, it's called Powell. P-I-L-E. Um, and I would not be able to pronounce it in Welsh if I tried. It's only two miles from Kenfig, which is where the caravan is and where, and where I'm going now. So, uh, Go that way to Magham Park and the most beautiful church down there. It's about 500 years old and um, it's gorgeous. Uh, but, and Magnum, Magnum Park is amazing as well. So uh, maybe I'll take you on a little spin down that way. But as I said, I can't get far from, from mom right now because she's not feeling, feeling well. Hopefully the jam, fresh cream filled uh, donuts will make her feel, she loves them. She'll eat that one with her tea. Now, as soon as I bring it back, I'm sure. And then she will have the other one in the fridge for a 10.30 break tomorrow. This is a little tiny road. Like I said, you gotta be careful on it.
the heather uh, smells good and the uh, lavender oh it's gorgeous I'm gonna get some cuttings of that if I can get in there without getting all in the weeds. There's a little bit of a swampy area over in there because where all the sheep, where all the sheep are, and uh, and they have ca cattle up in there as well. Now, this is the most country that you'll see in the valleys, <laughs> and I love this little back road. It reminds me of home. It really does. It reminds me of home. Uh, one of the back streets of Tennessee, <laughs> except for I would be driving on the right side of the the road instead of the left. Isn't that amazing? See, now I'm already almost here. Um, if I went left, I'd go to North Canale. If I went right at this four-way stop, I would go to Mag Magum Park and to Port Talbot. And I've been there several times. Port Talbot is about six and a half miles that way. North Canelli was just right there. There, were, I was gonna go around that way, but there's roadworks going through there and it's quite uh, uh, horrible to get through. So, uh, speed limit's 40. Guys, I am doing 40. Actually, I'm doing 35. Uh, although, it just seems like I'm going. There's the pub and the church. I do love that church. And I've got some awesome pictures on my Facebook. If you look through my pictures, you can see... Uh, you can see that church under a full moon. And I walked here. Uh, it's at exactly a mile. Uh, no, wait. I'm sorry. It's exactly a half a mile from the caravan. So it's exactly a mile to go um, that way and then, and then go back. Right? That is the Prince Wales. That is a, that's a pub as well. They just, they have delicious food and it's a nice place to hang out. I've actually never hung out there or anything. Uh, I popped in there one day to, to use the restroom on one of my walks because I had drank too much water and then decided to go for my, uh, for my walk, uh, <laughs> which is not a good idea by far. All right. And we're back to the caravan site, guys. Blinkers on. I always know these two little lions over here. That gives me my uh, direction for turning in here. Because this is a little side road. And because it's all built up, it's hard to see. I'm sorry if you see my finger in any. Oh, here she comes, Mary. Oh, she must be going to go on a bus. I get to drive on the right side of the road now. Hi. Hello, ta-da! Get back on the on the left side of the road now. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's see, Mom. Get her stuff in. Get it to the fridge, and then see what else I'm gonna do. You know, my um, instead of my videos getting shorter. Uh oh, this little girl is she is adorable. Hey guys. Doing all right. All right. She's adorable. Hello. Hiya. As you can see the water down there and how bright and the ocean across. All right, guys. See mom sitting there. And we've made it this far. She's talking on the I wonder who she's talking to. <laughs> I'll hear it now. Let's see. Alrighty. That's how we roll, guys. Let's shop in for mom. Let's go see what's going on. Hi, guys. Girls, neighbors, friends family. It's Country Girl 555. It is August 
the 3rd, 2011. We're still on the same day. I have had to change clothes because I was exhaustedly hot after the shopping. And it, it's much warmer than, um, than I said before. It's, it's about 82, actually. And uh, I had to change and put on a little dress. Um, hopefully it won't blow up over my head on my venture out. <laughs> <laughs> These bumps on this road is crazy. See, I told you she was waiting for a bus. Oh, love her too. All right, I'm headed this way, the opposite direction now. And I'm gonna go to a little different beach. Um, I was gonna go into Porth Call again to Holland and Barrett. I have not been able to get to Holland and Barrett um, all week long. <laughs> Even though I have been to Porth Call, see I'm pouring sweat. Oh, I bought this dress actually in one of the charity shops, buy one get one free. And I had, I think I might have said in the other video, but I wanted to make sure I say it again. Um, I had this one which is a size 18 and fits me pretty perfectly actually um, and the other one now I'm, I, these are not stretchy dresses this is the material that does not stretch it has no give at all no way no how mm, <laughs> at all um, so the other one that I got at the buy one get one free they had brand new price stickers on them and that's usually what I buy at charity shops when I go uh, thrift stores to you um, whatever we have ch a charity shop that the, they do for animal aid we have a charity shop that they do for cancer research we have a charity shop that they do for the elderly uh, called age concern we have a charity shop that they do um, to raise money for uh, feeding feeding uh, hungry people uh, like uh, oh I lost my word but anyway we have like a YMCA uh, charity shop uh, you know like in America be the boys and girls club and things like that but the YMCA does furniture and things clothes and different things charity shop to raise money for uh, different things like that to help people who don't have beds and and things like in that situation we also have charity shop that um, uh, it's called ambulance um, care and it is to raise money for the ambulances and uh, people who can afford cannot afford to have an ambulance or uh, rescue and things like that so is our ambulance charity um, we also have the heart association charity and uh, that one is quite good uh, and reasonably inexpensive on major things uh, I quite like that one. Ten of Us is my all-time favorite, but this other one that I bought these dresses in uh, is one of my real favorites. And, and it's a good cause. The money goes to help people in need. And I've been in a place where I've not had anything to eat, to drink, nowhere to sleep, and nothing. So, um... I believe in it and I think it is all for the best and I think that people should uh, not turn their nose up at things like that uh, I do know several people who say oh I wouldn't shop in a place like that well my good Lord 
Um, you would if you had to. You would if you wanted to help others. And you would if you had been put in a situation to where you've seen the bottom of the pit and needed to be risen up. And I think not judging anyone by no means. I just think that those people who say that and do that should at least give it a chance and know what the meaning of it is. Um, they like to read, I'm sure. Everyone likes to read, don't they? Or even look at the photos in a book. They can at least buy a book in a charity shop and that money is all for those people who need it. It could it could feed two people just buying a book that costs one pound fifty. I always buy four books when I'm down here. Um, if there's a sale, I get many more. Um, I don't have to buy the books. I, I, I have a Kindle. I can have any book I want. I've got thousands of books on my Kindle. Um, I can have book and audio on on what I'm doing my video on. Um, it, it's just the thought, you know? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I guess his age would be about, I don't know. I'd like to guess. I would like to guess. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> but that's amazing. He's walking his two dogs, getting his exercise. And uh, that's amazing. I love old people. I love babies. I love everybody. And when I see people not being treated well, I don't like it. It makes me feel bad. And all I can do is pray for them. When they turn their nose up and say, I wouldn't buy that. No, no, no. I have to shop in a posh place. Well, good Lord. Those clothes from Walmart, those clothes from the dollar store, those clothes from Italy, France, Paris, they all are made the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's a name on it. They're all made the same way. They're made to wear. And if I can buy something that'll help out somebody else, I'm gonna buy it. Regardless of all the, you know, I, I don't, I don't go for all that sticking your nose up in the air and carrying on stuff. That ain't, that ain't what life is all about know what I mean? I've been eight minutes talking. It's taken me eight minutes to get to the to the ocean. And there we have such a beautiful sight. Uh, I was actually at the ocean a minute before I said. <laughs> and uh, isn't it amazing? Only I want to go a little further down. Uh, back, back behind me is where I was yesterday walking on the beach. And I want today to go down further and see what's going on. Um, see how the traffic is. And how everything's going. This is beachfront. This is, uh, we've just passed Windsor Road. This is absolutely beachfront. Um, these are the homes. There are some hotels down through here. I'll show you, but as you can tell, they are exactly right. Right there's the ocean. The beach is is lovely. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And uh, these are called bungalows. Uh, they're not houses. They're two-story bungalows, separated. Uh, not like my house is, which is uh, uh, it's like a tip. Um, on a tip and, and they're all connected um, that that's totally different but these are called guest houses they have there's fairs this is fairway hotel that one is 
Fairway Hotel. Um, there's the Atlantic Hotel, that one. Um, this one up here is the Sea Bank. This hotel is the Sea Bank. It is a bed and breakfast hotel. It's, it's quite posh. Um, uh, my friend had tickets um, catered from her daughter last year and um, and so that's where they stayed but these are all of the uh, the hotels and that's the Grand Pavilion which is a pub seafront That's the Marine Hotel. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Bed and breakfast is all around. That's the Apollo nightclub. See, it's all beachfront, the ocean, everywhere you look. It's quite nice, it is. Then we come around, and on this end, we go to Coney Island, and ice cream shops, as far as you can see, Coney Island Beach is over that way where you see um, the fairgrounds. See the fairgrounds? There, It's like a carnival. Well, that's Coney Island, right? Okay, guys. I'm actually going to park and I am going to park into this parking um, place where I always park off-road on Wednesday after 12 o'clock you can park for one pound and and because you can park for one pound I'm going to do that and I am going to make my trip right into Holland and Barrett right quickly and see how that goes. Okay. I'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, we're in Coney Island. I've already been to Holland and Barrett and everything, so I thought I would come through Coney Island and just uh, let's have a look. Uh, I will see if there's anywhere to park. All the fairgrounds is all the It's always packed as you can see the car lots full um, there's really nowhere to park so my objective was just to come through here tell you a little bit about it this is where the people can actually swim in the beach they can get down to the sands um, and all um, people take tours uh, kids come here for the park experience alone um, and I actually want to sit in a more relaxing, uh, a little less crowded place. Hello. Um, so I, this was just to show you a little bit <coughs> of Coney Island, which is magnificent, by the way, um, for a good day out, uh, I lay on the beach. Um, bring a cooler, uh, a blanket, things to eat, and you'll do all right. I just had the most magnificent experience. I went into the RSPC shop, which is where I bought this dress. And the look on the girl's face when she looked up and seen me wearing this dress her chin almost hit the floor 
It was the most amazing, exciting thing ever, ever. Can you imagine? She said, you're wearing the dress. And she was so beyond exciting. I mean, there was a store full of people and she didn't care. She was totally all up in me having this dress up on my body. And she said, you look so fabulous. You look fabulous. There's you guys out there drinking and everything. <laughs> now this is not where I want to park and be, guys. I, uh, I'll get back to my story in a minute when I get back, when I get through this part. They have gorgeous flowers, amazing flowers. It's wonderful the way they do it. Uh, and beachfront is absolutely amazing. And can you, can you believe this weather? <laughs> I cannot believe this weather. Uh, right here is an ice cream stall and it was backed up packed with people waiting in line to get to get an ice cream cone or a, a flake or a cornet or a, a waffle cone filled with fresh wonderful um, come all the way around the beachfront right my objective is to walk through this wonderful grass I have no desire to walk on the beach today but only to watch the tide roll in the ships relax have a fresh fresh wonderful smelling peach and a fresh apple for a snack and I'm gonna sit down in my new dress <laughs> with my glasses on and I am going to watch this magnificent view Sorry, I'm trying to get my dress so it won't fly over my head. See? <laughs> Fourth call. Isn't that amazing? You can see the lighthouse. People playing on the beach and you can actually get in the water down there. Um, on around on Coney Beach you can swim. But uh, the kids generally play in the little pools, the rock pools. And across there is the big ship out there. And people come here for privacy. There is fresh from Stokes. Red delicious wonderful apple cost me 25p well actually a little bit less than that and I had four of these magnificent magnificent smelling peaches for four pound
fish are so delicious. Uh, I think you could see a little bit of me. You couldn't see my feet, but uh, my legs and stuff. But that was the best I could do. a lot of ways you don't want to have to carry a lot of stuff right I am getting quite a bit of sun very surreal there are a lot of people down there you it looks like there's nobody out there but you would be amazed at the amount of people that are down in those little rock pools mm. absolutely awesome and if I didn't want the sun of course I could go up right there there's a gazebo but I'm quite enjoying the sun. All the little birdies in the all the little birdies in the rock pools and the different animals and everything. It in so that it doesn't um, blow out everywhere because if it then it's like this because it's thick. <laughs> oh, so the sun's so going in just a little bit. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. 